Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about creating print on demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please hit like and subscribe and stick around. So in today's video, I wanted to show you guys how you can create this design right here. This would make for another cool, lazy Halloween costume. You could be a serial killer or a serial killer. Um, that's kind of the joke there. But if you would like to learn uh, about this niche and about how to create this design, go ahead and stick around. So I am on Canva's uh, homepage, their new all glowed up homepage, and we are going to be creating another Lazy Halloween costume, t-shirt design. Um, and so we're gonna go ahead, we'll go over here, custom size, and we'll just go ahead and select 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and again, start with a nice black background. So I'm just gonna click on my blank canvas. I can go here where it says backgrounds color and click that. I'm gonna select black. And now we are going to do a funny one, um, which you may have seen before, serial killer, only it's going to be cereal like a cereal bowl. Um, and we are going to do something a little bit different with the text. We're gonna use sort of those mixed graphic letters that sort of look like the good old fashioned where they cut the letters out of the magazine and glue them to the page. So we're gonna go ahead, go over to elements and we are just gonna go ahead and do a search. And so the easiest thing would be to start with the letter C Oops, for cereal. Letter C for cereal, go to graphics. You'll see what I mean. Any of these will work great. So you can pick any of these that just sort of look like the letter was essentially cut out from a newspaper. And so really doesn't matter which one you choose to go with. You can pick one. This one's kind of cool because it lets you change those colors there. And now you can go ahead and use the magic recommendations and sort of try to do sort of the rest of these. Um, I'd rather it, you know, obviously look a little bit different. So I'm gonna pick some different ones and then we'll play with them a little bit. Let's see. I'm looking for another E. I want it to look different point of cutting it out of a magazine is the letters cannot look the same. So you have to have a different E. And again, I don't have to go with all of these. I can go back and I can, you know, switch to a different one. So let's say see here, let's do the letter E. And it's gonna come up with different letter E's that might look good. I actually like that E, maybe better than this E. Or this E looks cool, or that one. Here's another one. And so you can kind of play, find the E that you think looks best. And some of these are really cool because they do let you change the color. So let's say I want E. Yeah. A. Again, it doesn't have to be capital, capital or lowercase. It does not matter because it is supposed to look like you just cut it out of a magazine. It could be anything. Here's another one. E. And then cereal. And we can resize them again later. That looks cool. Or any of those would work just fine. But anyways, you can see how we kind of did this. And of course, there would be nothing stopping you from creating your own too. If you wanted to just get a random shape, put a color behind it, and then pick a random font and put it on top, you could do that too. So lots of ways you could get that same sort of design style and then again it's going to be a lot of sort of playing with the sizes here it's always better to make everything smaller because then once you get it the way that you want it you can like kind of 
resize it as a group. You can group it and resize it. So make it small enough and then you can sort of play with it from there. So serial and then let's go ahead and we'll go with killer. So again, letter K. And so which K do we want? I do like this K. And the cool thing is I can change the colors because I don't want it to be the same color as that. I want these to be a bunch of random mixed colors. So, okay, I, and we'll just sort of pick them one at a time, however we like. And so again, let's go ahead and shrink these down so that they're approximately the same size. They don't have to be exactly the same size because we do want it to look sort of varied. But go ahead, and the easiest way to make sure we get all the right sizes here would be to shrink them all down. So that they fit. So, okay. So even that, a little big. Once you can get them all around the same size, what you can do is go ahead and click and drag over all of them. Now they're grouped. And so now as a group, I can shrink them all down together. So now they're still all shrunk down together. And now I can play with their individual placement. And so that's kind of the easiest way to something like that. To do this is again, group them. I can shrink them all down a little bit. And then from there, I can sort of play with the placement. Um, again, I want this one to be different colors. So maybe at this point, it can be any color that you want. Remember, these are supposed to look random. So you just want the colors to look different. Um, so something like that. Or even a, oops, back here. Maybe I make that more white so that that kind of stands out a little bit so something there looks cool okay well something like that you can see how we can play with the colors try to make it so that it stands out a little bit more i do want everything to kind of at least pop a little bit and then what we're going to do is we can again sort of slightly angle or displace them. You can make one maybe a little bit bigger than the other, bring it in front so it overlaps. Again, I can angle it a little bit, maybe shrink just a little bit, maybe make that one a tiny bit bigger. And so we can see how we sort of play a smidge by making them not quite all line up perfect. We do still want it to be more or less straight. So sometimes using your rulers and guides, so hitting shift R on your keyboard, that'll pull up your rulers and guides. And then I can pull down a line to make sure I'm still mostly on the line. So I'm not like veering way off. So for example, I could go ahead and bring this L sort of a little bit farther back down maybe. Maybe angle it something like that. And again, I want to give a little bit more spacing. Maybe to some of these ones. Something like that. Maybe this tan. I make green see i like the green but i don't want it to be the same as that green that'll do that way they look a little bit different and i'm going to do the same thing with this line here don't worry about the relationships of the lines because well, again we can group these all together and move it all together once we have it the way we want it so once these are mostly the right size i can play with the top line too to make sure that nothing looks like too off. So that looks pretty cool. I actually like that. So again, I can group these together and I can highlight these and group these together. And now I can, again, resize them and position them wherever I want so that they look good together. So there it says serial killer. And that looks pretty nice. 
you know, I'm not super fond of this R just because I don't feel like it pops enough, like it might be hard to read from a distance. Let me see if I can just replace that one R, maybe come up with something better. So I'm just going to move that R out of the way for a second. So I can do this R, which is a nice roller, lowercase R. This R might look good. Let's take this one. Cereal killer. I like that. So now we just need our cereal bowl. I know that was the hardest part. It was getting all of the letters, picking the colors, lining them up. But the whole point is to make it look random, sloppy, totally different, not matching colors, get a good variety. It's supposed to, yeah, look like you just cut random letters out. So that is perfect. And now we are looking for our cereal bowl. So we can just do a search for cereal. And again, we are looking for some sort of bowl that we can work with. Anything would work. So for example, here is one, not super fond of that. So I'm just gonna start pulling them up and seeing what I find that I like. Um, that I can work with, ideally a bowl, not a box, ideally something with a spoon. So that might look cool because it's got the different colors. And then to add the cereal killer element, I'm thinking of like spilled milk to represent like blood <laughs> or spilled cereal or something like that. I want it to look like, you know, you've killed the cereal and so <laughs> I'm just looking at some of these. There's ones with like splashes. I'm trying to see if there's anything else that looks like it's going to work well. I mean, that's more or less the same kind of thing there. So there's several different ones that are pretty similar. Let's just stick with this. And then I can do spilled milk or I can just do splatter and make it white and it will be essentially milk. That one's showing it splashing. I don't necessarily need it splashing. I can though, just sort of make it look like it's spilled. Something like that. And of course the milk is gonna go in the back. So it would look something actually more like that. And so that is one possibility there. Serial killer. So I like that. There's other milk ones too, so that's kind of got a weird shape. This one has more of a normal shape. By normal, I just mean it might be easier to work with. So it might look a little bit easier to work with, like whoop, that. And so there's all sorts of those sort of spilled milk looks and you can play and see which ones that you think might look the best. Once you've grabbed them, they're gonna be saved that you recently used. So then if you wanna go back to them after that, you can. So it just depends how big of a spill I want. Ooh, I like that one because it's got the little droplets too. I think that looks really good. So anyways, that was pretty much the design. There's nothing too much to it. It's just the idea. Um, and that would make for a funny Halloween costume shirt. You're dressed up as a serial killer, but it is a serial killer. So anyways, I just wanted to show you guys the technique and you can be as creative as you want with this kind of stuff. If you have any questions, drop it in the comment section below. Um, I'll get back to everybody as quickly as I can. I hope you guys are doing really good um, with your sales and um, continuing to create new and interesting creative ideas and you know getting a, a good variety of things out there um it's a numbers game so the more designs you have the more products the more marketplaces the more platforms the better off so just really start expanding um and anyways i, I hope you guys um i hope you guys are doing good and i do hope to see you guys again next week that's all for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.